Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing my um, Friday check-in for the 100 mile challenge. And um, this is just, this has been a rough week. Let me begin here. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. It's been a really rough week. And um, even now I'm just struggling to be positive because I, I feel I have been feeling really really bad this week so I didn't have a good week and um, well as far as eating goes it was it was pretty good and I'll insert some clips here but as far as working out my motivation has been Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing my 100 mile challenge video. Today is the 17th, July 17th, and it's Monday. So, um, oh well, I guess I can show y'all what what I'm going to have for breakfast. Well, it's going to be a late breakfast. It's 10.48, and I'm just now eating. I was kind of busy this morning, and... I did have coffee with cream and sugar. Um, I haven't even started drinking my water, so I'm going to make sure. I'm going to try this week to work my way up to three of my Bubba's, my 48 ounce Bubba, the, the, the mug. Um, so yeah, let me show you all what I'm going to be eating. So, I'm having a protein shake. This is... Um, this is the brand that I use, the Body Fortress. Um, I mainly buy vanilla. This is my second container or third. I don't remember. Anyway, that doesn't matter. This is vanilla. But I, I brought this out to show you the brand because I'm going to make the chocolate one today. And the label is gone. But that's what this is. It's the chocolate flavor of the Body Fortress Super Advanced Whey Protein. And I will be using... Um, silk cashew milk. It doesn't come, the chocolate one doesn't come in unsweetened. So, I mean, unsweetened. Yeah, unsweetened. So, I have to use this one. It has a little bit more sugar than I would like. But that's why I, this one's pretty old because I don't drink, use this one too often because what I put in the, the chocolate, it has more sugar. Then, I will be adding some ice, of course. And then this I got from Great Value is the Banana Berry Blend, the three pound bag. It has bananas, blueberries, and strawberries. And this is the one I like to get because it has pretty much everything I use in there. Or I could just pick out what I want if I don't want to use one of the fruits in here. So yeah, that will be my breakfast. I'm not sure of the ounce when I do make that I'll come back on and I'll show you guys so hold on Yeah, it's been just 
not good okay so I'll explain you know it's some people may say oh it's TMI but it's part of what's going on with me and um, it's life it's just real life okay so for about um, let's see about three or four months I think four I hope y'all can see me let me try to adjust the light okay well so for about um, three yeah about four months I didn't have my cycle <clears throat> excuse me my cycle and I was I knew I wasn't pregnant and nothing like that and I went to the doctor he said oh, just excuse me even my camera is just not having it today <laughs> okay about as good as I can get it. Let's hope it doesn't fall. So even my doctor said that um, nothing was wrong that he could find. And by the way, I'm trying to do this in one take, so camera falls, whatever happens, just happens. So yeah, <clears throat> and when and before I was going through that, I had fibroids, but <clears throat> so I knew what was wrong. Now this time around, you know, uh, I had the fibroids removed years ago. But anyway, so this time around, I'm like, what's going on? But I, I, I have always had, since I started my period, and I, you know, when I first started, I've always had regular periods. So um, this time around, I didn't come for four months, and I was like, oh, God, do I have fibroids again? I didn't know what was going on, but, you know, the doctor said it was nothing. But when that happens, every month, you just build up with, you build up with pressure, you bloat it, then another month goes by and you feel like you you know you feel this I felt the symptoms like I was going to have it but it didn't come and so that went on for four months so by the fourth month I was just just like oh about to pop I felt like a pregnant woman and that was overdue I just was sluggish tired even though I was um I was used to it by that point and so um, I was able to start the 100 mile challenge and I did pretty good the first week but the second week finally my, my period came my cycle came and it completely wiped me out I had no energy like none and I felt just completely depleted so that, that went on from Monday to Wednesday so I was still eating good <clears throat> Like I said, I'm going to insert clips of some of the food because I didn't vlog like I thought I would. I vlogged um, Monday, so I'll insert Monday. I, I did a video of me eating, uh, making a smoothie. So that's what those were my intentions for the week. Try to do one meal every day of what um, I have been doing. That didn't happen because I slept most of the time. <clears throat> oh, my voice is scratchy. I slept most of the time. I barely did any filming this week. I've been struggling to get other work done that things I have do. It's just been really tough. So I will say I give it myself a 6 out of 10 because I did stick with the food. So I feel good about that. I did stick with the food, but I, I barely even cleaned my home this week. I struggled to just maintain just have it looking neat instead of just clean like I want it just neat so um I didn't even bother putting stickers when I I wore my Fitbit once or twice I ran out of space <laughs> this is this is a crazy all over the place video so um that I don't remember what I was saying this pretty much sums up my week I didn't walk I feel awful, but then at the same time, I have to understand that the way I was feeling, I felt like I was going to just have to go get on some iron pills. I was just, like, even now, I'm going to close my eyes on camera. <laughs> even now, I feel just bad. I feel bad, but I feel much better than I did Monday. And, <clears throat> um... Today I need to clean up my room and do some things around the house, but I don't know. I don't know. Like, <laughs> one of the videos I filmed that will be up, like, next Monday, one day, I cl I'm cleaning my son's room. 
and I was literally sitting on the floor cleaning and sometimes I do have to sit in a chair or something because you know my fibromyalgia and the arthritis I do have to stop cleaning for a while or I had to sit down and clean but this time it was I was not hurting as bad I was still hurting I'm always hurting just that's 24 7 365 days a year I'm hurting it's just nothing I could do about that but this time it was more it had a lot to do with just being completely drained so I'm hoping like I'm feeling I'm gonna try to eat I don't really like taking vitamins because I saw a documentary on PBS about how a, doc, a lot of those vitamins are not putting in there what they saying they put in in there or if they do is not the adequate amounts like what's on the packaging it's, it's a lot of it's misleading or you know they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing so I'm skeptical about taking certain vitamins not all companies are like that but there are a lot who are and I don't know who's who I think there's a website you can find that information like who's legit and who is selling you pretty much sugar pills so I try to eat a lot of fruit and vegetables that help me replenish which takes time because you get a small dose in each fruit and vegetable you can't eat that much I mean well I choose you know I'm not gonna sit there and just uh, stuff myself full of fruits and vegetables because you can still gain weight that way but yeah um, I'm just gonna try to eat some fruits and vegetables to help build my energy back up or sitting in the sun helps your vitamin D gets slow if you don't get enough sun which I have not I do have issues with vitamin D off and on because I don't get enough sun so um, next week start by Sunday I think I'll be good though this is the first time where I've been just drained like I needed a blood transfusion drain I am not exaggerating it was it was my, uh, it was Monday or Tuesday. I literally stayed in the bed all day and waking up just like I hadn't even gone to sleep. So, this was not a good week. It wasn't a bad week all the way because I made sure I ate healthy. I ate salads. I ate, um, I did a stuffed bell pepper with turkey and, um, mm, riced cauliflower instead of rice. That was really good. Even my husband liked that. Because um, he always says I cook too healthy. <laughs> and because when the way I cook now, he doesn't gain weight. So I have to cook fattier foods. He, it, it makes him lose weight. It makes me just stay stationary. <laughs> Unless I work out. Why do the men always get to lose weight? Anyways, so um, yeah, I won't keep this too long. Because at this point, I'm just babbling. Because... I'm just babbling but yeah next week I think I'll do a lot better because it was mainly just the energy was low just there were, it was just nothing and I did smoothies mm. I I didn't do six meals small meals I did like three small meals or four small meals because I just didn't even feel like eating and that can hurt you also. But my weight did drop. I did lose two more pounds. I'm down to five pounds. No, three pounds. Because I lost two pounds last week and I lost three pounds this week. Which is, I think, had a lot to do with... <sighs> I'm trying to figure out the best way to say this. My body cleansing itself out, I guess you can say. You know, making itself right again. If you... You know what I'm talking about. So, as your weight does go down sometimes after you have your cycle with the bloating and everything. So, I'm not really sure where the weight loss came from. Probably from that because um, I, ha I have to work out and eat right to lose weight. I'm not one of the people that do one or the other. I have to do both. So, yeah. Next week, the Friday check-in should be way better than this. I am more motivated than I was at the beginning of the week and I'm still excited I'm still as long as I'm sticking to my diet that's what you know I feel like I'm still good so that concludes this video and look at even my I feel like even my bun looks funny maybe it's just me 
because um, I'm going to I don't even think I can take a nap but anyways yeah I'm going to try to today since I feel better I'm going to try to make myself walk because all that laying down has gotten me in pain I kind of have to walk lay down sit down and move you know just do different movements in order to keep the fibromyalgia from just flaring up by the way I had a bunch of flare-ups this week a bunch of flare-ups with my fibromyalgia so that affected me as well so yeah I'm still I'm still hanging in there I'm still hanging in there I haven't given up but anyways thumbs up this video for motivation I need it let me know y'all are counting on me or, or cheering me on rather let me know you're cheering me on and I, I, I desperately need the motivation and um yeah subscribe to see more and i thank you all for watching and i'll talk to you guys later bye